These days, people don't have much time to learn about new stuff, to watch videos, to read articles. If we're going to communicate effectively, we have to give people information in really small, short bites. Risk science is about how the things around us affect our health. Risk bites is an effective way of maybe a crude and sometimes light-hearted way of getting information from here to there so people can use it. There are many, many experts out there who are really good at developing the evidence. What is lacking is people that can effectively communicate that and provide people with resources that empower them to make sound evidence-based decisions. The Risk Science Centre was originally established because there was growing concern that decisions were being made within society that affected people's lives that weren't based on evidence and science. Risk Bites does take deep expertise, but it makes it accessible to a much wider audience. That is the beauty of social media. We can communicate very complex ideas through a conversation. With Miss Risk Bites, maybe that's a conversation that goes over 12 months, but it's still a conversation with little bits of information building up a tapestry of understanding. The technique is exactly the same as people used to use for lecturing decades ago, and it shows that it's still incredibly effective. All we've done is we've taken it out of the classroom and put it on video. If you've got a good script, a good voiceover, and crude drawings, the three things come together very effectively. What I really want to achieve is people that have never heard of risk science before starting to watch these and thinking, this is great, this is intriguing, this is exciting, this is fun, I want to carry on watching these. Because it's those people where the more they watch them, the more they'll begin to understand how to make evidence-based decisions on risk, whether they know that they're learning about that or not. That's all there is to it. <laughs>